Hello everybody, this is Moo Moo Granny Jolene, and today we're going to make Parmesan corn. Uh, the corn is fresh in the stores right now, but I didn't get any, I had some frozen. So you can actually use frozen, canned, or fresh, but I don't prefer the canned at all, but the frozen and the fresh are about the same. Um, I halved this recipe because they've, the full recipe will make a lot, and just for me and my husband, this is all we all we'll eat. Uh, so I'm gonna go, I'll give you the half ingredients, and you can double if that's if you're making the whole order. It's uh, ten ounces of frozen corn, a half a cup of cream, and you can use a half and half if you if you want to. A half teaspoon of salt, uh, two tablespoons of sugar. Now I don't use the sugar. We don't like sugar in corn, so we're I'm not using the sugar. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of butter. That goes in the first part. So we're going to put all this in the pan put the corn the cream the butter salt and pepper and if you were going to use sugar you would put that in right now and I'm going to stir it up and put it on the um, eye of the stove till the butter melts. The butter has melted, and so now I put the flour and milk in. And I stir it till it starts to thicken. Got this on medium heat. beginning to thicken so I'm going to turn the burner off and it will thicken more before as it sets a, a little bit and now I'm going to put the parmesan in stir it up Ooh, it smells good and there you have it that's the parmesan cheese quick and easy. That's what I like, and I really used to like it when I was working and had to come home and cook, so um, this, this is what it looks like, and then uh, I'll show it to you once it, um, once it thickens. My lens are fogging up. While the corn is starting to cook, I'm gonna make, um, I guess uh, it's a thickening, but 
uh, you take um, uh, a tablespoon of flour and a half a cup of milk. And I'm gonna stir it just a little to get the lumps out before I, I don't, when I'm making thickening, I don't all dump all the wet in there at one time. It, you kind of stir it and get the lumps out of the flour. And then uh, add the rest of it. There's nothing on the spoon, on the fork, so. Now then, once the butter gets melted in, in that corn in the pan, uh, I'll put this in there. And uh, it's very quick, about 15 to 20 minutes and, and it's done. That's, it's already beginning to bubble. I've got it on low, or I've got it on medium heat. And it just says heat until the butter melts. Well, this was a short and easy recipe, but corn is seems like one of the favorite vegetables of everybody and there's so many ways that you can fix it so uh i hope you have a good rest of the day or night and be safe and be blessed Bye. You see now that this has gotten thicker and uh you can you can warm it up you can freeze it just whatever you need to do but it, i'm ready for it Please spread the word about my YouTube page and tell your friends to hop on board. Thank you.